I stayed at home with this terminal disease that was hard to accept at first. I did not realize how rapidly that I was physically declining. I almost didn't make it here in the back of the car. I guess sometimes people say things just got real. But for me, I realized when I was in the emergency care ER how real it was. It progressed to the point where they knew that if they intubated me, there was probably a less than 50-50 chance I would ever wake up on Earth again. I said, let's do what we gotta do. We'll call in the families at that time. It's time to call in the family. As a Christian believer, having an 18-year-old daughter that I have a renewed relationship with, my parents were still going strong. So many things just didn't seem like it was real yet. But when they intubated me, I knew then my, well, my life is always in God's hands. But to realize in that moment that my life is not my own. The doctors are great professionals, but it's not even their call. And so when I was under, some medicinal men, men of science, may say, he's a believer. Of course he's going to see things. This was not that. Even one of the best artists I know, I'm not sure that he would have the tools to be able to represent something that was seen firsthand like that. But when I was under, I saw the face of God. I didn't even know if that was possible, but it is. And what I saw was like a, an artwork that's a conglomeration of every face, of every person who had made impacts in my life. Friends, loved ones, family, everybody rolled into one. But even beyond that, there was something more. It was murky. I couldn't see it clear. I felt it. I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. I was just in awe. I was captive. Love and peace were the predominant communications above all of those pictures. And I felt a warmness like a like a nice blanket when, when you're sick. It was wrapped around me, and I felt a peace. I didn't hear him speak, but I felt him say, David, whether I bring you home into heaven or whether you go back home to your family, you need to know that everything is going to be as exactly as it should be. There will not be one thing that you have to worry about. I love you. I immediately felt calm. I wasn't scared even the moment I saw her. I was a miracle. When I had my daughter, it was a reason to get up every morning and have a brand new day made new again. But after experiencing that and then coming back, I know that there was a purpose. I called one of our friends at church and explained that it was my belief that his wife who suffered during her illness felt nothing but peace as her time came to go home. 
I couldn't explain why. I could just, I continue to see that face. And it's, it's, a, it's a moment of, we live by faith, not by sight. Only he gave me a bonus appetizer. He let me see. I immediately had every bit of animosity, every bit of frustration, fear, gone. I was just so glad. I didn't care what shots they were giving me. I took it as a blessing and I gave gratitude for getting the best medical treatment possible. And thank you for letting me be here today. So I might have an opportunity to spend a little bit more time with my loved ones. And that gratitude of being able to experience the joy of waking up and knowing it's all good. And after I saw that picture of God's face, I instinctively knew it was all taken care of. But after feeling the love and the warmth, I have no doubt in my mind that he makes a way for anyone to cling on to him. And he pulls them right through. It happens on God's time, not our time. So I guess that's the thing, understanding that God's time really is perfect. I definitely want to say that the power of prayer is so real. That is a real, tangible experience. Whenever other people give of themselves and do intentional prayer for a brother or sister who they might not even be so close to, you can feel that. There's no way that I can say thank you enough. There's no way I can say how powerful it was and is, I can just say that it is. And it's all combined. That's the part of the love and the peace that's all in his face. The health care that I received was so compassionate. My family, I can feel the people at church and other places physically. Prayers pulling on me. Like an army of angels, I can feel prayers. That's an awesome feeling. I've felt prayers before, but not like this. And if it wasn't for Kenny, this path would be very much different. So my church family, all these folks, the men's group, the ladies' circles, the Sunday school classes, the table, Prayer is not the least we can ever do. Prayer is the most that we can do.